maiden win in the season opener. At Hockenheim, Marco Wittmann scores the first victory of his still young career. Yeah, for me it was it was just amazing. I mean, to start a season like that with your first victory, with the first one for the M4 and as well as the 60s, 60s for BMW and DTM, it's just a great feeling. I mean, we worked really hard over the winter and we had already a good qualifying yesterday and um, yeah, it's, it's just, just a great feeling. The German already takes the lead on lap three and builds up a considerable advantage. I think the key was really to overtake Adrian in lap three, then make a gap um, to him and um, at the end I was able to, to, to increase it even. Wittmann's margin was sufficient, but one driver gets very close to the top position. Matthias Ekström. After his mandatory pit stop, the Swede charges through the field with option tyres and claims second place, thanks to a clever strategy and the new regulations. Well, I had a great race. Uh, first laps were very exciting. I think first time in DTM ever, I were four wide up to the happen, so it was pretty exciting. And uh, in the end, uh, I had a good race. Car was okay and uh, can be pretty pleased. In the end, uh, I think we had um, the pace to at least give Marco a, a fight for the win. It didn't happen, but still happy with 18 points in P2 for today. Adrian Tombe comes second in the fierce duel of the apt drivers. Third place is still a good result for the Frenchman. Uh, I was really hoping for taking a lot of points today and that's the case. Uh, it's not the victory, uh, but I think uh, race uh, incidents uh, made it uh, hard for, for better than, than second. Um, uh, second would have been possible, but at the end of the day I'm really happy with that. For Mike Rockenfeller, the race goes better than qualifying. The DTM champion makes up ground compared to his qualifying result and finishes fourth. Beautiful weather and a legendary visitor for the first DTM round. Together with the fans on the grandstands, football legend Franz Beckenbauer watched an entertaining race. At Mercedes-Benz, spirits were rather down. After a disastrous qualifying, the race day didn't go well either. The best placed drivers of the brand from Stuttgart, Pascal Verlein and Gary Paffitt in 11th and 12th place. The home race at the Hockenheim Ring, a weekend to forget. Disappointing is the word you can describe our race weekend, uh, starting with qualifying yesterday and the race today. We now have to analyse uh, step by step what went really uh, wrong when we have identified those things that went wrong, then we must start taking measures to uh, solve the problems. Closely fought duels and tough position fights also claimed their victims. Rookie driver Antonio Felix da Costa deprives himself of a well-earned reward with this manoeuvre against Timo Scheider. His teammate Timo Glock shows a better way to do it. The ex-Formula One driver ends up a fine fifth. The race was not too bad. I think uh, I struggled a bit at the start, uh, lost positions, gained it back in the hairpin because I had a good slipstream and overtook four cars in one hit. I was in the game still for the points, but it was clearly that uh, we will struggle um, uh, with all the option runners coming at the end. But, you know, target was to score points and that's what we did at the end. Wittmann wins at Hockenheim. For BMW, it is the 60th victory in the DTM. The first win upon the debut of the new BMW M4 DTM. Then three Audi drivers. Bruno Spengler finishes sixth. Joey Hand also scores points. Miguel Molina, who started last, makes up 10 places. Nico Muller is the best placed rookie in 16th place. Vitaly Petrov and Maxim Martin don't have a good DTM premiere. Eduardo Mortara has bad luck. The Italian has to park his car after a puncture while on course for a podium finish. The fine-tuned regulations proved their worth in the 2014 DTM season opener. The tyre strategies were clearly recognisable. There was more excitement in qualifying. This DTM whets the appetite for more. The action continues in a fortnight, then at the Motorsport Arena, Oscherschleben.